Hey, hey, everybody. This, this is Larry. This is April 16th here in New York. I am doing an extra algo prom. So let me try to find. Okay, there you go. RNG, let's go. Give me a easy one because I'm a little bit tired. All right, getting a hard prom. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, I think I have like an hour before the, the Warriors game. Yeah, so hopefully we'll finish it in an hour. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, 568, maximum vacation days. Leadco wants to give one of the best, one of its best employees the option to travel among and cities to collect algorithm bombs, but all work and no place make Jack a dope boy. Wow, this is back in the day when they actually write some stuff. But anyway, you can take vacation in some particular cities and weeks. Your job is to schedule the travel to maximize the number of vacation days you could take, but there's certain rules and restrictions you can follow, and there's a lot of them. A lot of things to read. I don't know. Oh my god! All right, let's, let's do it. You can only travel among n cities. Okay. Initially, you're in the city index zero on Monday. Okay, fine. The fights, n by n, not necessarily symmetric. Uh, zero and ones. Okay, that's fine. So it's just binary whether you could get there connected. You have k weeks. Each week have seven days. Take flights at most once a week, and only take flights on each week's Monday morning. There's no travel time. Okay. What's that mean? For each city, you can only have restricted vacation days in different weeks. Given an n by k matrix for days, for maximum days you can. Okay, so that means that in certain. Okay, fine. I don't know. I mean, it make, kind of makes sense, but I'm just so tired. You could stay in the city beyond the number of vacation days, but you should work on the extra days, which would not count as the vacation days. Okay, that's fine. If you fly from A to B and take a vacation on that day, the deduction total would we'll still count the vacation day off. Okay, fine. Hmm. You can only fly on Monday, right? I don't know. All right, fine. We do not consider the impact on the... Okay, fine. There's so many details. Okay, so we start at zero. Uh, the first thing to look at is the constraints, and I, I actually thought it was going to be DP anyway, but again, the constraints seems to confirm N and K is D 100, so you could do DP or, um, yeah, DP you maximize over the, the vacation days things. Uh, should be okay. What is N again? N is the number of cities. And you only have K weeks. Okay, fine, right? So I'm not going to go over dynamic programming today. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I am just going to uh, focus on, like, not the, the basic part of dynamic programming, but just the, the recurrence part of it, right? Meaning I'm not going to go through all the, my usual stuff to proof uh, and go over the stuff. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, so let's just say, do, 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 calculate, right? So then now we have, what, what do we have? We have the city and then the week. And that's it, right? So this week... Let's say we start on Monday. Then now we can figure out which city do we go to for this week, right? And it seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, we have to look at the fight list, right, for all the n n cities. Yeah, cannot type. And yeah, we also do like if week is equal to k, then we're done. So we return zero because we're taking no more days, right? Uh, so which city do we go for this week? So then now we just try every one of them, right? So if... Can we stay in the same city? Maybe you can. Oh. I don't know. It's it's. I think you could stay in the same city, but I could be wrong. Oh, there you go. I guess that's an example too. So you get one, 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 five. Okay. So then now, if fight sub i, okay. So then here we can actually set the best thing, right? Uh, so if the default is calculate city week plus one, and that's plus days of city week, right? So that's our default answer. Uh, and now if we try to go somewhere, we go from city to i. Um, if city to i is equal to 1, then best is uh, oh max in this case. Sorry. 
calculate uh, the city i and week plus one plus day sub city plus week, right? <coughs> yep, that city plus i. And then that's it, really, I think. I, I'm going to do a memorization. I'm not going to go over that deeply, but. And we start at 0, 0, and I think that should be okay. A little bit tired, so hopefully this is just right. In is not iterable. Did I miss something? Calculate i plus a sub i week, right? Oh, 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 whoops. Looks okay here. Let's give it a submit. Ah, snap. Oh, this is not it. This is, oh, uh, whoops. Uh, okay. All right, looks good. I, I, I messed that up. I, I wasn't paying attention. All right, um, looks pretty okay. Uh, standard dynamic programming. Uh, let's go over the complexity. I, I somehow, it's n by k. I, uh, I don't know, silly mistake. But yeah, um, city can go from zero to n, of course. Week, week can go from zero to k. We have a for loop that goes through n, so this is going to take all of n times k. Num number of inputs, each input takes all of n time. So this is going to be all of n squared times k time, and space is all of n times k space, right? And that's pretty much it. And you know that this is going to be 100 squared times 100, so... Pretty straightforward uh, for a hard problem. Um, a lot of reading, but once you get to reading, this is like a, what is that, 10 lines of code. So pretty straightforward, as long as you re read K correctly. Eh, silly mistake. But uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go further with this one. Hope you enjoy your vacation days. I am going to go take a nap, maybe have some snacks, and then watch the NBA games. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.